I'm the District 7 Public Relations Manager, and we're doing something a little bit different this evening. Normally, I have a presenter who presents us something about public relations, but tonight we're going to have what's called an open mic night and a mastermind session on anything public relations related. And I have two guests visiting me here, I believe from District 113, who are going to introduce themselves. I have Sylvia Gude and Jorge Navarro. So, Sylvia, we're going to start with you. Tell us how you heard about us and what you want to get out of this tonight. My name is Sylvia Gude. I am from Mexico City, and I participate in clubes. Iztapalapa, Avanzado Villacuapa is the second, and Córdoba is the third one. I am in three clubs of Toastmasters, and I have a Toastmasters three years. Um, I am fascinated, fascinated about Toastmasters school, and, uh, um, and, and I am very happy to be here right now thank you very much okay and now we'll move on jorge hi friends it's nice to be here my name is jorge navarro i am from mexico city too this is 34. i am two clubs in uh, villacuapa advance and iztapalapa online and i'm glad to no, i'm eager i'm eager to learn what our good friend uh, has to show us, and I'm willing to learn anything that can help us to improve our relationship job. Thank you, Jorge. And then I have a question for both of you. Are either of you current VPs of public relations for your clubs? Yes, both. <laughs> okay. And is this the first time being a VP of public relations for both of you or more than once? Uh, for me, is uh, more than once. What about you, Sylvia? My first time, Fred. Okay. Well, great. You got to start somewhere. And to be honest with you, too, the VPPR was my favorite role of all the roles in Toastmasters, probably because I'm a photographer and a videographer. So it just kind of fell into place. So we're going to start with Sylvia with your questions. I believe you wanted to start with some graphic design questions and some branding questions of some flyers that you made. So the floor is yours, Sylvia. I consider public relations chief VP is a great reto to me because I am a saleswoman by um, 25 years old. But I consider uh, learning public relations is uh, improve my a bit my capacities and give me more uh, impulse to my development professional my professional development this is my participation for it okay and i believe you had something you wanted to to share with us and maybe get some feedback on and some flyers that you made you're welcome to share the screen I show uh, the plantilla of plant web plantilla from uh, 113 district in Mexico. And um, I am uh, so doing uh, the doing um, some uh, adequaciones to my club advanced Villacuapa Avanced. I have a question, Sylvia. You got you have PowerPoint pulled up. Did you create this in PowerPoint or did you create it in Canva and transfer it to PowerPoint? Um, I don't have time to uh -huh. do more, but uh, this is a talent, talent uh -huh. exercise to me. I need time mm -hmm. to dedicate more, more details but this plantilla helped me very much. Right. Well, I can tell you that looking at it, it looks brand compliant with all the colors. So those look good there. 
you got enough white space in there on that particular one. Same thing with this one. It looks like you're branch compliant on this one, you know, except for maybe right above Jorge's head where it's pink, but you got the white lettering in there. Everything else looks looks brand compliant. Looks like you've got your time that you meet, the date, and any other information. Flyer. So I have a question for you, Sylvia, and that is, it looks like the way you have your flyers made, it's strictly in Spanish. So are, do you cater to just the, the local district or do you expound out and expect maybe people to attend virtually like non-English, non-Spanish speaking people? Only, only Spanish are using a cut a special part in agenda that call, call it one, two, three, I say this. Mm -hmm. And this is by three three minutes. You can speak about free time, free time, free topic about mm -hmm. what you want to communicate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the fire looks good. You have another one you want to show and talk about, and then we'll bring we'll bring Jorge in on a on a couple of them. I also like how you made the Toastmasters.org on the bottom real. Real big for people to see it. And let me tell you, Fred, that uh, Sylvia is using some layouts that our district or other districts uh, in Mexico share with us in order to help our function more easy. So the only thing that we have to do is to adjust some, some text like a club number, mm -hmm. uh, name, like date, hour, and if we have a little space for add another information, so we can do it. So the the art are, are made by uh, another another person that um, that are sharing uh, this uh, this layout for us for all the clubs in the districts. Yeah. So my my question is, I like I like how this flyer looks. Right here on the bottom, Sylvia, where you or you had the calendar, the clock, and the camera. Did you create this in PowerPoint and use like the icons feature, or did you create this in Canva and then upload it to? They were created in PowerPoint. Okay, I like how it looks. It's laid out really nice. It's not very busy. You've got looks like you've got the pertinent information on there and the branding looks like it's all in place as well. Now, I don't know if you know this, but like you see the background behind Sylvia, you can actually download the new Toastmasters 100 years. Uh, they have a few logos, but they have some that have the logo with the 100 years, like what you see behind me here on the, on the picture. So, and then you can always shrink them in PowerPoint or Canva. That's just something else. I didn't know if you knew that that's available is the new hundred years Toastmasters branding is available now. Nothing wrong with this. Just letting you know that those are available as well. So good job, Sylvia. Really, really good on these. So my other question is you made so many of them. So do you make them? like so many of them and then you rotate them out or are these for each one of your clubs? It's a great job. Mm -hmm. I would like to be more, more communicate. And I want to, I, I, I will add the mm -hmm. Centennial logo to mm -hmm. this, to this flyer. Yes. And you can, yes. As long as you get it from, that, you know, Toastmasters International, you're, you're good to use it. Like I said, nothing wrong with this. I think the layout of this is perfect. And where do you, where do you post these? So if you're primarily on Facebook, your website, LinkedIn, where do you, where do you post these a lot? Jorge Navarro is doing this exceptional working. Go on, Jorge Navarro. Okay. Thank you, Sylvia. 
Yes, we are posting this in this work on Facebook, primarily. Well, not more uh, Facebook because we don't have another another we don't have a website or we don't have another social media social media application. We find Facebook is uh, good for us. But maybe you can suggest something. I can. There's something you can get called Free Toast Toast. It's a website that's free to toast okay. Yes. And basically just Google um, Free Toast Toast website and it'll give you it'll give you like a, an option to download and basically pick the layout. But what's nice about the Free Toast Toast website is you can also have people sign up for agendas. You can add members move members from current to past members and then you can add this flyer like on the home page but you can also add things like photos if you took photos of your meeting you can also upload them to free toast host as well if you're on zoom a lot of people like taking screenshots putting that at the top of their page too so it's something to consider jorge it's it's hence the name free and a lot of people use it the other one is easy speak I've never had mm -hmm. access as an administrator to Easy Speak. I've only used it for like signing up for roles and things like that. Pick which one you want. I prefer Free Toast Toast only because most of the clubs I belong to use Free Toast Toast. One, one uses it particularly for agenda signups, and my home club uses it for promotional purposes, especially if people go to find a club and you put your club web address in there it takes them right to our free toast toast website so that's something to consider as well jorge is okay they're, they're both free you can put your own you can put your own url for your club and use the default to your club number and then say something like that toastmasters.org or slash toastmasters.clubs.org you can change it to whatever you want you know make a shorter url or whatever you want. So that's just another another source. And I guess okay. it's free. It's called free toast toast. Okay, thank you. Uh, I think that the, the in free toast toast you, you can make an agenda. And my question will be this. I don't know if you can change the the roles that are in the agenda because in, in our club we have some roles that they are that they don't appear in that in that layout. So I don't know if we can edit it and we can put another roles uh, or or are just the roles that are that are in that in that program. Well, with free toast toast, it's got a pre-made template, but you okay. can add you can add or remove roles and make it how you want. Like some clubs have unique roles like some clubs have something called the quiz master okay you yes can, you can add that in there or maybe maybe the structure of your meeting is different maybe you have table topics in a different part of of your meeting you can you can adjust it accordingly because there's usually a a place where you can describe the role you know or the speaker things of that nature so you can adapt it as you want even though it's a pre-made template you can, and then you can change the dates on them. There's usually a drop down, like for the current meeting and future meetings. So you can you can also do that as well. That's what I like about free toast toast is not only can you use it as a promotional tool for your club, but it's got Toastmaster specific tools. Like I said, things for the agenda, adding members, moving members to former or past members and guests, things like that. And I have a recording I did at my last session on how to pr basically promote your club using free toast toast. If you want me to send that to you, I can do that. But it basically shows you how to log in and the tabs to click on. Okay. To do that. It's, you just have to play around with it, Jorge. I mean, once you play around with it more, it, you're, you know, you'll get used to it. Kind of like, getting to know Canva or Facebook, just the more you, you play around with it, the better you'll okay. get. 
Okay, so tell us about this one, Sylvia or Jorge, or either one. I'm very impressed, to be honest with you, with what you've put together. Mm -hmm. This is just uh, another another template, another, another layout. So mm -hmm. as, I, as I say, we mm -hmm. just put the uh, information because uh, some people uh, do that, uh, that work. So mm -hmm. we only add the, the text and that's all. So uh, the, the good thing is that we don't have to think, we don't have to force ourselves to create something. Someone that maybe is a graphic designer do that for the district and the district chair with us so we can do an easy job for have a, a, a flyer for each session. Okay. So basically now, uh, you know, I like, are they, do you save them in both PowerPoint and like a PNG file, because you've mentioned that way you make it easier for the next person. Because if you save it as power as a PowerPoint extension, then it's editable for the next person. They need to change the you know like the date or the, the meeting. Yes, the meeting info. So I would save it as both if you haven't, but that would make it easier on the next person. Yes, that that's right, and and that's a um, layout. They change every six months. So every six months, we can have another image, another template, so we can use. Probably for this in next month, they will include a Centennial logo, that what, that what was you was saying. And we just simply take advantage of, of the job of someone, of someone else. Mm -hmm. and, and and they put us in, in PowerPoint because they think that this is easy for the clubs to edit that uh, that flyers and 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 it's really easy. We don't have to do nothing nothing more. Yeah. Now I only saw a few of them where the 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 colors not so much on the people but on the flyer itself. Are you going into PowerPoint and using the the hex colors? When you go in there, do you know the hex colors? Yes, but we we can we, we don't use it. We just uh, we only change uh, text uh, colors. We don't use colors. All colors are are included. Mm -hmm. uh, image are included. So it's very easy for us. Just edit text. Okay. Well, as long as you make it easy, that's that's good because like I said. Like this particular flyer here looks looks brand compliant. One thing I might do on this particular one, where you have the white text up here on the top left by his head, it seems like it's blending with the background. So I would maybe change that to like maybe black or a different color that would contrast with the background. Because it's hard to see, like where the brown is, you can see the white lettering. But where the white wall is, you see how it kind of blends with the other with the other letters. So I would make that like maybe a, a black or something like that. Other than that, it looks good. So good job from what I'm seeing so far. And Sylvia, I have um a question for you. What more would you like to know other than creating flyers as a BPPR? What challenges have you been up against that maybe myself or Jorge and I can help you with? I consider it uh, take me 30 minutes um, until one hour because I adapt uh -huh. the uh, uh, soon, soon, uh, soon details. Uh -huh. uh, they take me one hour more. Let's. Okay, so with your club outside of making promotional materials, 
what uh, are you doing any other type of promoting? Like I heard Jorge say, for now you use Facebook. Are you taking any photos of your club meetings and posting them on Facebook as well? In addition to the flyers, because the flyer is what draws them in. I would take pictures of your of things going on at your club as an after thing. Because the home club I'm part of in Florida, we meet once a week. And when I was VPPR, I was posting twice a week. And we ended up becoming President's Distinguished and got 10 out of 10 on the DCP points. And a lot of it was because I was very consistent where the first the first post would be a flyer, such as the ones you made, Sylvia. And then the second post would be of photos that were taken during the meeting and putting captions with the photos or just placing it as a separate post. So that's what I would do in addition to your flyers is take photos and post them separately on your Facebook page because the flyers do so much that draws them in but you want to keep their attention and get them curious by showing them what goes on in the meetings. And you can just use your cell phone and upload upload the photos. Okay, I see a flyer there with... Uh, I had a Facebook mm -hmm. page. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. I can see it. Okay. This is Iztapalapa Club. Uh-huh. This, uh, this is a Jorge Navarro article. Uh -huh. This is a translation from Toastmasters. It's not my article. I'm sorry. Okay. So let me ask you, uh, these clubs that you're part of, how this often do a, you how often Jorge do they Navarro meet? Creación. Uh -huh. How often do these clubs meet, Jorge and Sylvia? Sorry, I didn't understand you very well. How often this like this particular club here? How often does this club meet? How often we we have session uh, each uh, fifteen days. Okay, and are they all on Zoom only, or do you have in, an in person part meet too? No, uh, by the moment we have uh, only meet the Zoom meetings. Okay, so what you can do is. You can do a couple of things. You can do, do you know how to do a screenshot on your computer? Uh, I don't know, I don't have, Sylvia, do you have something? Yeah, you can just do a screenshot or you can, if you're using Windows, you can use the snip option and that basically freezes the image that you just trim around it and save it as, a, as an image, either JPEG oh, okay. or PNG. That's one way to do it. But something like that would be good to add here because these are just flyers and these are good, like I said, and good for drawing people in. All right, something like that. And then in the caption or in the post, like you do the flyers, but what went on at the meeting? Like who spoke about what? Who the uh -huh. leader was? Who your table topics winner was? And you know things like that, and switch it between gallery view and speaker view too. So, like, if someone's speaking, you can take a screenshot of the the speaker as well. Mix it up a little bit, but this is a start. But put something in addition to the photos as far as what went on in the meeting. So I would mix it up, like something like that. That would have been a good video, in my opinion. If they would have let you record. And then you could post that as well, because he's looking into the camera. I see you're looking into the camera. Those are good photos, but I just think video in addition to that would add a lot more as well. There's nothing wrong with what you have here. I just think the video or a recorded Zoom meeting would just add more to it for promotional purposes. Okay. Yeah. For example, I'm recording this session here, Jorge. When mm -hmm. I'm done, I send it to my editor. She puts an intro and an outro and does whatever editing she needs to do. Then she'll post it on our YouTube channel and she'll post it on our Facebook 
Vistra Facebook page. So besides your club Facebook page, I would try to send it to the public relations manager of your district and have them put it on their Facebook page and share it. That's what I do. That's how you guys found out about my session because I share my posts about my sessions to different Facebook pages and groups. So that's another way to get to try to get more members to attend as well. Yeah, those are all very good. Okay. Those are all very good there. So, have, what, what, uh, what other content do you put uh, on your Facebook so we can take advantage, advantage of that? Oh, just go to the District 7 Facebook page. Just type okay. in District 7 Toastmasters. You'll see a lot of the, the flyers I've put together, some videos from some of the meetings. Okay, thank if you. People, if people send me photos, uh, and you can also find some of these on our LinkedIn page. This, District 7 has two LinkedIn pages. Yep, and also if you want, you can go to if Sylvia wants to stop sharing her screen, I can show you one of my home clubs. Um, if you want to give me just a moment, but it's the Facebook, it's the Facebook page for my home club in Florida, which is how we were able to draw a lot of people in. Go to Facebook.com and type in Toastmasters Daytona Beach. It's not letting me pull it up here for some reason. And look at that Facebook page and you'll see, you'll see what I'm talking about. You'll see the photos and you'll see the flyers. It's called Toastmasters Daytona Beats. Let me know if you pull it up. Well, Sylvia pulled up the Toastmasters Facebook group. But if you want to click on the one that says, um, scroll down, Sylvia. If you want to click on the one that says District 7 Toastmasters page, keep scrolling. Yeah, scroll down because I wanted to show you some of that's something from the conference. It's in the new PowerPoint templates that they sent out. If you scroll down some more. It's wonderful. Yeah. So that's just giving you an example and scroll down some more. There's a podcast that you, that you, if you click on that thumbnail, I actually, mm. I actually have our district do podcasts and have a podcast here. That's the latest episode that got posted as of yesterday. And that's another way we promote our district. That's a recording of a meeting I attended. I'm their club coach, and they sent me the recording. I just put the intro and the outro, and they got a few comments about it. So that's something else you can do with your meetings, too, is record your meeting and send them to the – there's the forum I was telling you about. If you want to click on that at some point, that's how to market your club without social media. And that was when we were at the regional peer meeting last week. So you see there's a variety there. There's photos, there's videos, there's flyers there to give you an idea on how to promote your club. You know, because you're part of a district, the district should be able to help promote for you. That's another video I put together of a club I belong to in District 7 called PR Masters. One of our members did it on ChatGPT. I edited the video and I posted it on our Facebook page and shared it on our Facebook group. So those are just some things to consider as well. This is another flyer that someone put shared on our Facebook group. So you see the you see the variety I'm talking about here between the flyers, the videos, and the photos. Spice it up a little bit. Start with your and that that was me speaking at Podmasters, a club that I I founded. In District 7, that helps you with podcasting. We recorded the meeting, and again, I edited it and uploaded it to Facebook, and that's the flyer for Podmasters. So okay. that, should give you, that should give you an idea on how to spice it up to promote your clubs, because remember, the you are an extension of the district, so you should be able to send some of your stuff to the trio and the PRM, and they can help promote your club that way too. And they can even share share some of your posts. So you can stop sharing now, Sylvia, if you like. But that's just giving you ideas on the variety 
that we have. Yes, 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 of course, Red. This is a they they got great ideas. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So do we have any any other burning questions that you'd like to know as a VPPR yeah. or any yeah, challenges? Ya puedes dejar de compartir, Silvia. Uh, no, I, I don't think that, uh, well, I don't have any questions. I think that what you show us is um, inspiring. They give us some ideas. Something that uh, we have to do is work with the members because uh, I think that uh, it takes a lot of time editing and browsing all the material that you have to use, etc. So um, we don't have much time. So we try to do our best, but uh, I think that what you show us is something simple. And uh, maybe we don't have, we don't know how to work with, with video. So uh, that's um, something that we have to find someone to do that, or we have to learn for ourselves and, and do simple videos, but I think that we got a, a big idea and we can try to uh, make other things, not just put a, a screenshot of our sessions, as you said it, uh, just uh, try to make the big picture and make uh, on the other side, uh, put some text that says what that person were, was uh, talking or something like that. All right, well, keep this in mind too, Jorge, is if you know how to record on Zoom, that's a start for the meetings. And I wouldn't worry too much about the editing. The raw footage would be fine, even if you don't have like an intro and an outro, because people want to see video and you want to see what goes on in the meetings. It's no different than uploading a photo. There's a upload photo video Button. It's the same. It's the same process, except that you're just uploading a video instead of a photo. That's the only difference. And then you can say, like, if someone was speaking, you can say this person was speaking. Or if you recorded the whole meeting, okay. you know, that's okay too. Just keep in mind that people probably aren't going to watch it if you have an hour long meeting. People probably won't watch it in one full sitting. They may watch parts of it and fast forward it, or they may watch part of it, pause it and then get back to it. So just keep that in mind if you record a full meeting because people have short attention spans. But to me, it's a, a recording of your meeting, you can't go wrong. Because people will always get something out of your meetings and they know we're all human too. So you're probably gonna have some ahs and ums in there or someone may go over on time. That's fine. You know, we're, these things happen in Toastmasters meetings. You know, I have, you know, you're not going to have a perfect meeting. I don't think anyone's going to have a, you can probably have a great meeting, but I don't think there's ever a perfect meeting where someone doesn't say a couple of ahs and ums or, or the, something went wrong with the microphone in the meeting or something of that nature. So, just roll with it. If you're going to do video, just hit record on Zoom, save it, and then just upload it to Facebook. It may, With video, it's going to take a little bit longer, so just be patient, and then you'll get a cue from Facebook saying your video has been uploaded and they're ready to view. Okay. Yep. Yes. And what I would do later, Jorge, is maybe find out from your public relations manager if they – if he knows, he or she knows a good video editor. Yes. So that's what I do with my sessions is we have a video editor and she does it for a living too. And she basically puts the intro and the outro and any glitches in the video, she fixes. So we have that capability. I would think about that in the near future, but right now just put photos and videos out there in addition to the flyers. And I do like the fact that you rotate your flyers out. You had, gosh, you had probably enough there for a whole Toastmasters year of flyers. And then you rotate them out. I like that. 
It's what I call forward thinking. Okay, do we have any more things we would like to know before we wrap up? Or have you all learned a lot? No, for me, I don't have no, no, nothing more. I don't know Celia, but I, 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 I want that you invite us, you share with us. Uh, if you have a session in your club, Zoom session, we will like to go to visit your club. Sure. Um, I will send you an invitation to my clubs right after this. Okay, thank you. Okay, well, good night, everybody. I enjoyed it, and look for the recording within a week or so. Okay, right, thank you. Thank you very much, Ed. I love to, to meet you, and thank you very much one more time. Not a problem. It was my pleasure. Good night, everybody.